All right, guys, I believe that I have finally reached a conclusion on this whole pumpkin spice craze. Or I'm going to venture off and try some other pumpkin spice items to see if I understand and comprehend this pumpkin spice craze because with the coffee, I am not getting it. And the very first thing we're gonna try is this pumpkin spice butter. I saw this and I didn't even know it existed. I was like, hmm, that's interesting. So let's give this Land O' Lake pumpkin pie spice butter a try. It smells like pumpkin pie. It looks like pumpkin pie filling too. Okay, I'm gonna try it without anything and then I'll give the rest a try. Let's It tastes like pumpkin pie, except in butter form. All right, let's try this with my toast. This is my gluten-free toast. I wanna to use so much of this stuff because it's actually pretty good. Very buttery. Mm. Okay guys, I think I'm hooked onto this pumpkin pie butter. It is really, really yummy. If you are a pumpkin pie spice person or not, you need to go try this. It is really good. It is not super sweet. It has a little tinge of sweetness and just so buttery. It is definitely a must try. This pumpkin spice, I get. It's really good. I'm gonna put some more. I feel like I can just eat this thing on its own. Mm. This is dangerous. I think I'm gonna have a problem from now on. I just opened this can of worms and look at that much butter, but it's just so good. Mm. It reminds me of Thanksgiving, guys. Thanksgiving. Pumpkin spice whipped cream from all these. It's orange. OMG. Okay, let me give this a try. I was not expecting orange. <laughs> Whipped cream is not meant to be flavored in pumpkin spice. This can't be a thing. This is not good. Yeah, no. My kids are gonna give this thing a try to see what they think of it because I am not a fan of this pumpkin whipped cream thing. All right, you wanna give it a try, my mm. You don't like it? No? It's sweet. Perfect. You like it? It's like something Mima makes. Cookies? I don't know, let me see. It's so, it take out like a huge cup of it. Okay, I'm gonna try this one now. I can't. This is not good. Yeah, this... it's so good. Yeah, guys. Blech. Not good. I'll get it. You can eat it, you can eat it. All right, friends, I'm gonna give Dunkin' Donut another try today per one of my viewers' advice. She told me how is it that she orders her pumpkin spice coffee and that she absolutely loves it. So I'm gonna order using her advice and let's see how it goes. Plus, I have a buy a cold brew for a $2 thing on the app because I downloaded the app to see if there were any deals. So let's see if it works. Good morning, what can I get started for you? Can I please have a pumpkin spice medium cold brew with three pumpkin swirl, two cream? What's better, the cold foam or the whipped cream? I, I prefer the cold foam. Okay, I'll do the cold foam then. Okay. And then um, some of that cinnamon sugar you guys have on the top. Nope, that's it. Let me get my coupon on. All right guys, that was awesome. Only 212 for this coffee and it has the pretty little stuff on the top. I love that this was a pleasant visit today and they were not out of pumpkin. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. Isn't it beautiful? Alrighty. Let's test this out. This turned out to be 212 with that coupon on the app. Originally it would have been 4 
for something. But the coupon, yeah, four nineteen. But it took two nineteen off. So let's see. Not bad. Pretty good. Pretty fun. The foam is really fun. I've never had the cold foam before. Pretty good. I mean, I would order it again. Especially if it's only $2.12 because that's not gonna make me go broke. <laughs> I like that cinnamon sugar thing that they put on the top. It's really good. And it has a really good taste. Quite frankly, it reminds me of the pump, iced pumpkin spice latte that I ordered last time. That it was really good. It just had like the whipped cream on the top instead of the cold foam. So this is definitely a nice cheaper alternative if you have that coupon. America is running on Duncan today. Let's get our spoons ready. Here's your spoon. Here's your spoon. Here's my spoon. We are gonna go for the pumpkin spice ice cream. Here we go. I'm gonna try mine. I gave Mimi some in her cup. At the count of three, two, your spoon. one. Wait, not, not yet. Not. No. <laughs> All right. Three. Ready? Three, two, two one. one. That is not good, honey. This is not good. Not good. <laughs> what do you think? It should be a thing. <laughs> it shouldn't be a thing. Disgusting. Baby, you wanna try it? It tastes like the inside of pumpkin, inside of pumpkin pie, but too powerful. It's like cold, it's like cold pumpkin pie. No, I don't think it's like cold, um, it's like cold pumpkin pie. That's good. You like this. I actually like that. I like how pumpkin pie is really cold. Okay, here. You can enjoy this tub of ice cream all by yourself because from the looks of it, May is not gonna like it. She just went out to get a drink of water. <laughs> Noah is not gonna enjoy it, and neither am I. You can, you can take that to death. It tastes really disgusting. So that ice cream is definitely not making me love. Daddy likes it yeah. instead. So that and ice cream. don't like it, it tastes mm. disgusting. Yeah. All right, next on the list is the Chobani Greek Yogurt Pumpkin Spice. Let's give this one a try. Whoa, you took quite a lot. Okay, you're ambitious there. You have high hopes for this thing. All right, ready? One, two, three. Mmm, yum. It's like the calm now. This is not bad. This is not bad. This actually tastes like yogurt. This is tolerable. This I can eat. Now, here's the thing about this. Though I will eat this, will I buy this next time I, I, I'm at the store? Yes. No. I would not buy this. I would prefer a different flavor. I so, would not just buy the other one, but I will buy this one. You would buy this one? I There's better flavors out there to have, like the coconut one or the pineapple one, than the pumpkin one. is not bad, but would I go ahead and go this out of my bad. way to get this? No. So you got the two things that we hated and put them both in one same thing and wanted us to give it a try. Why? Pumpkin spice whipped cream with the pumpkin spice ice cream. Mm -hmm. So my head's done well because I love this whipped cream. It's so good. Why? So disgusting. <laughs> it's actually, so, it's pretty good. It's so gross. Like the whipped cream takes away the bad taste of the ice cream. <laughs> the whipped cream. Thing. <laughs> I think it only augments it even worse. <laughs> well, Nora, do you think you're a pumpkin spice person? No. no? Only, only a whipped cream. It's the end of an era. Well, it wasn't even an era. It was like a week long thing and wait, 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 before I can declare this, I did buy a pumpkin spice candle. I guess I need to see if I'm a pumpkin spice candle person. I love candles. All the things I love. We'll have to give that a try. And then I can save my verdict. Okay guys, so the pumpkin themed or pumpkin spice item that I'm testing out today is this pumpkin cinnamon candle from Aldi. 
I've tasted some things and I think I need to smell some things. I love candles. Candles are like my favorite. They make me feel cozy. I burn candles in the house throughout the summer. I just have more tropical smells in the summer. So I'm gonna test this out and see if I love this pumpkin cinnamon smell. It smells so good in the candle. Oh. Smells like pumpkin pie. Okay, so I'm gonna burn this and I'm going to let you guys know if this makes me love pumpkin spice. Because even though it doesn't say pumpkin spice, it is pumpkin cinnamon and is the thing that they had on Aldi for like the whole pumpkin spice craze. So let's go ahead and give this a try. All right guys, I have to be honest, I'm loving this smell. So I definitely understand pumpkin spice season with this candle, for sure. I believe that I have finally reached a conclusion on this whole pumpkin spice craze. I'm not gonna say I'm not 100% a pumpkin spice person. I'm going to say I am a, I'll embrace it while it's here to some extent. For example, there are some things that I absolutely love. I love pumpkin pie, I love pumpkin bread, I love pumpkin butter, that is a new addition to the list. That stuff was fantastic. I love a pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks, I'm not gonna lie, or from Dunkin Donuts, that was pretty good. Starbucks definitely gets the prize on the latte, um, but the second runner up is definitely Dunkin Donuts. I love those things, but it doesn't make me go crazy. I've reached a conclusion that the whole pumpkin spice craze has to do with the whole season thing. I think it has to do with like the way it makes you feel. You see the leaves changing, it's getting a little cold and cozy, and this is just part of that season. That is my understanding on it. There are definitely some things that should not be pumpkin spice. They should not even exist. The ice cream was not good. That whipped cream was just downright disgusting. Like I, 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 there's very few things that I'm like that about. And those two things have gone in my brain as things that are not meant to be. <laughs> but you know, different people have different taste buds and different people like different things. I am not a pumpkin spice crazed person. However, I will embrace it while it's here. I will definitely go get myself maybe once a season or twice, maybe three times a season, a pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks, but I definitely won't go all crazy about it. Like, oh my goodness, I have to have this or I'm gonna go crazy. I don't judge anybody at all who goes on this pumpkin spice craze because I can understand the aspect of, oh, this is cozy, this makes me feel good, this, you know, I have great memories during this time. I can, I can understand that. I do not understand the why, the needing to try to make everything pumpkin spice. Some things are just not meant to be, like pumpkin spice sparkling water. It's, I don't know, except for that butter. That butter is a must have. Like I definitely have to have that now. When August rolls around, guess who's gonna go get her pumpkin spice butter? So anyways, how about you guys? Are you a pumpkin spice person? If you are, or maybe you're like me, you'll just embrace it while it's here. What is your favorite pumpkin spice product out there? Go ahead and let me know. If you are not a pumpkin spice person and you're like, I don't get it. Go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Either way, always love hearing from you. Thank you guys once again so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!